Aircut Nation. Hey everybody, Michael Went, Air Gun Nation here. You know, whenever I hear an experienced air gunner talking to a newbie or someone from the powder burning world about air gunning, there's one theme that always comes up, and that's training. Or more specifically, using an air gun as a training tool to enhance your shooting skills. Now, I've been addicted to air gunning for at least 15 years. Air guns. I've rubbed shoulders with all the biggest names in the industry. I'm the owner of the world's largest air gun forum. I even won a few gold medals before I was forced to retire. And I absolutely agree that air gunning can enhance your shooting skills. But which shooting skills are we talking about? With the exception of hunters and field target shooters, the vast majority of air gunners shoot from a supported position, like a bench rest, bipod, tripod, shooting sticks. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that because it teaches great uh, trigger control, breathing, follow through, doping for wind and elevation. But how does that type of shooting translate to a real world scenarios? Well, I suppose if the shit hit the fan and there were zombies encroaching on your property, you could probably perch yourself up on the roof and start picking them off. But what happens when the zombies get a bit closer? And you're forced to shoot offhand and move around. I'm not sure how many of those skills you've learned shooting off the bench are really going to help you. Over the past few months, I've been scouring YouTube, gathering information from military, police, veterans, special ops, even paintballers and airsofters. And I've come up with an alternative method that air gunners can use for training in their own backyard. Air guns. I've got about 50 yards to work with, so I've built two barricades. The first one I built from scraps out of my garage the second I spent about $50 in materials on. If you're on a tight budget, you could probably drive around to a construction site and pick up enough scraps to make yourself one. Air Gun Nation. The first is similar to a PRS style barricade. This one is really sturdy and I plan on using it for a lot of my supported positions and longer range shooting. I'm gonna switch to this camera. This barricade has quite a few rock solid, fully supported positions and a handful of cutouts for uh, semi-supported or unsupported positions. Let's take a look at a few of them. My second barricade is a bit taller than this one. I spent about $50 to build it. I think it took five two by fours, one sheet of half inch plywood, and a box of screws. And the tools I used are a chop saw, a jigsaw, and an impact or power drill. This barricade is going to be used for close range shooting. I plan on shooting mostly offhand, but it's definitely sturdy enough to do some supported shooting as well. This one has a bunch of unique cutouts and is designed to practice shooting from cover. Air Gun Nation. This is what I'm going to call my CQC or Close Quarters Combat Barricade. 
Um, initially, I may do some training with the muzzle protruding through the cutouts, but as I progress, I'd like to keep the muzzle on my side of the wall so I don't give up my position. You'll notice that I am running a scope as well as a red dot. This one is from Hawk Optics. I've been running a red dot a lot lately. Um, it's really effective for uh, close range, fast acquisition pest control. Line up the dot, pull the trigger, poof. Air guns. And I think it's going to work extremely well for a tactical training scenario like this. So let's run through um, some of the positions real quick. Quite a few possibilities. Back in 2016, I recorded a run and gun type video where I ran around a forest shooting balloons with my FX impact. And honestly, looking back over the past few years, it's probably the most fun I've ever had with an air gun. Well, Times have changed, and the world is a crazy place. I don't know about you, but I could definitely use a bit more training. With firearms and ammunition sales at an all-time high, if, and that's a big if, you can find anything in stock, you'll probably be paying one to two dollars per round. To put that into perspective, I just bought 5,000 rounds of 22 caliber pellets for $144, which would be five to $10,000 of centerfire ammunition. So, if you're bored with shooting off the bench, you wanna try something different, something exciting, and get some training in your own backyard, then come along with me and let's do something new. Air Gun Nation.